over the phone. I'ma need you to get rid of all the leftover pizza boxes. The what? All the boxes left over for the pizza. All the boxes. Okay. Make sure you recycle the plastic like we talked about. Yeah, it's the J Reach out there. Nah, my he goes. Did you ever go to a theme party? Yes. I just want to tell Jaguar, right? Be careful. Who it's, this case is going to touch and involve? It was Tyler Perry who hosted them, which we also know has now been linked to the Diddy parties. What did Diddy just say to his son, Christian Combs, that is implicating Jay-Z in a new lawsuit regarding misconduct with minors? And is this finally the moment when one of Hollywood's darkest secrets is finally exposed? Do not entertain none of this nonsense and nothing over the phone. I'm gonna need you to get rid of all the leftover pizza boxes. The what? All the boxes left over for the pizza. All the boxes. Okay. Make sure you recycle the plastic like we talked about. Yeah. Did Jay reach out yet? Nah, Bob. He ghosted. What the f this motherfucker doing? These f ain't sh tweet now because I'm in here. It's so all good. You about to get out on bail. No. Hey, yo, check this out. Need you to reach out to the producer. Let these motherfuckers know there's a release date for that new Netflix movie. Alright, Bob. It's just... It's crazy right now. Everybody out there quiet as a motherfucker, huh? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. We gonna let them have their little fun, but I'm still gonna have them last laugh. What about all these lawsuits, though, Pop? Ain't none of them getting shit. I ain't worth nothing. Ain't got shit in my name anyway. On the 23rd of October, a phone call between Sean Diddy Combs and his son Christian Combs was leaked on TikTok. This alleged phone call has sparked all kinds of rumors linking both Diddy and Jay-Z to the infamous Pizzagate controversy in 2016. The controversy which revealed that high-ranking members of the Democratic Party were involved in a child sex trafficking ring sent shockwaves through the political landscape in 2016. And now, it looks like two of Hollywood's biggest names, Sean Diddy Combs and Jay-Z, were involved too. And it's funny because this subject, because of uh, things like Pizzagate, the subject yeah. became so taboo that no one wants to talk about it because it sounds preposterous because Pizzagate was so preposterous. Right. The guy shows up and with a gun looking for kids that are tied up in the basement and everybody's like, oh my God. There's nobody here. It, everyone's wacky, these child sex trafficking fanatics that are interested yeah. in this and that are trying to stop this. Uh, the idea that there are sexual predators in power, mm -hmm. not just in Hollywood, I think in, all across any, any place there's a boss with underlings in any <clears throat> corporation or any industry, you have a type of sexual politics that goes on that mm -hmm. can slide in between uh, appropriate ethics and, and decorum to, uh, let's see, inappropriate behavior to the point of harassment and, and uh, sexual pre pre predatory behavior. Well, I mean, I think people understand that, but the larger question, is there a culture of complicity in Hollywood where women are afraid to speak up because they'll be blacklisted, men are afraid to speak up because either they're out of the same fear or, or they just think, well, this is the way the system works. I think, I think there's, there are people that say, well, hey, this is how it works, pure and simple. And this is why I got into it and this is why I have power. This is how it works and you have to understand that. That does not carry the day. Complicity, complicity is also, it's, it's complicity, the people who know, well, look, this is, this is how we do business and that's what it's got to be done. I'm sorry it's like that. So beware. That's all.